So does touch to focus with the Shinobi 2 work with your Sony camera? We're talking about tracking. You know, we all know we can, you know, touch a point and do spot focus, but you know, that's not what we're too interested about. We want to know about the tracking. I've got an a7 IV, an a7S 3 and a FX3. If you don't have time to watch the rest of the video, because you should be editing, I'll let you know now, touch to focus tracking works on all three bodies. Finally, we have it. They're all running the latest firmware and the Shinobi 2 is also running the latest firmware. So I've got the Shinobi 2 on the a7 IV. It's powered by a DC to DC connector using the Atomos battery eliminator, just a HDMI cable and a USB-C cable. It does come with USB-C cable, but the other one's too, it's like a meter long. You can use whatever cable you want. It doesn't need to be 10 gigabit per second, just a half decent cable will do the job. Just a little square shows up on the Atomos, but you will have to look at your LCD to confirm the tracking. If we got touched to tracking day one, I'm sure everyone will be complaining about it, but I think we're just lucky now to be able to have this feature. So that's just something to be mindful of. Now I've got it set up to the FX3 and to make sure this works with any of the cameras, when you plug in the USB-C, make sure you select remote shoot. Once you do that, then you'll get your camera controls. And you also have to go in the top left corner and make sure that under control, tap to focus is checked. Once that's done, you can return to the main menu and it should be working as normal. Hopefully this helped. Sorry I didn't have every camera to test. As far as the full frame hybrid video Sony range, Hopefully I covered it. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll do some testing and get back to you, help you justify that next Christmas present purchase for yourself. Have a good one, everyone.